Man, those sausages look like big Hello guys and welcome back to What We Eat Tonight. My name is Jennifer. So in today's video, we are going to make and try blood sausage. A lot of people are put off by the idea of eating animal blood, not me. I grew up in Asia, to be more specific, I grew up in Taiwan and I grew up eating all kinds of weird stuff, you know, stuff that other people would consider weird like chicken feet, duck tongues, um, stinky tofu, centrio egg, fish eyeballs, and of course animal blood. Asian people are not the only ones that eat animal blood. Blood sausage is something that can be found all over the world from like Asia to Africa and all over Europe. And the most famous ones are the Korean one and the British one, which is commonly known as black pudding. And it's a delicacy. A lot of people love it for a reason. In Taiwan, we have something that's very similar to the Korean blood sausage. It's made with pork blood and sticky rice, and it just so happened to be one of my favorites. So the blood sausage we're going to try today is the French version, as the French call it boudin noir. Excuse my French, which basically means blood pudding. I bought this at a specialty food store in North Hollywood. It was the same place where I got my guanciale and my carbonara video. It's about $11. It has four sausages in it. They were fully cooked. The ingredients are pretty simple. Pork blood, salt and pepper, some onions, egg whites, and some spices. And very interestingly, pork snout. According to my research, French blood sausage is best paired with saute apples. Here I have a couple Granny Smith apples and some butter, which I'm gonna use to fry up the sausages. And some brandy, of course. I started off by peeling the apples and cutting them into pieces. In a cast iron skillet on medium high heat, I melted about two tablespoons of butter, then I added the blood sausages when the butter was foamy. The sausages were kind of a purplish pink color at this point. It was almost a brick color, but with a dark brown purple tone to it. But after searing them for about four minutes, I flipped them over and they have turned black completely, hence the name Noor. It's honestly kind of cool how they just change color completely. Also, I noticed one of the sausages bursted open due to the high heat. Probably should have poked a few holes to let the steam escape a little, but oh well. After a few minutes on searing the other sides, I took them out of the skillet and dumped the apples in and sauteed them until they're slightly translucent and soft. I also seasoned them with some salt and pepper. Then I turn off the heat and pour in a splash of brandy. Safety tip, I should have poured the brandy in from a glass, not directly from the bottle. I totally forgot. I turned the heat back on and it was on. After the flame died down, I threw in a knob of butter and I tossed the apples around until the butter was melted completely. Then it was time to plate! I layered the apples on a bed of mashed potatoes and topped it with the seared and now blackened blood sausage. The sausage was already fully cooked, so it honestly didn't take too long to cook. I just seared both sides and sauteed the apples and put them on top of a bed of mashed potatoes. So overall, this was a super quick dinner. I then topped it with some parsley and some black pepper and some flaky salt and here it is blood sausage Definitely feel like a carnivore. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. <sighs> Conclusion. Um, I thought I was gonna like it, but it's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. Andy seemed to enjoy it, but. I didn't, I ended up making myself a bowl of ramen because I just did not like it at all. 
I think it's mostly the texture that I didn't like and also the flavor which is very bland it lacked seasoning in my opinion I felt like a little bit of garlic probably would have improved the overall taste it was just like a very mild and very fatty sausage the texture was very mushy and almost kind of spongy and when I put the fork into the sausage the inside kind of just fell apart it was very weird I just I did not like it at all and also the apples didn't really do anything for me I don't really know why the apples were there I just don't think they go together and in case you were wondering if it tastes like blood no it didn't taste like blood at all it did have a little bit of that iron taste but no if you're thinking like something that you see from true blood or twilight wait twilight's not even bloody if you're thinking it's like one of those vampire movies or a vampire show that you saw no it's it's nothing like that but once again i didn't really like it i felt like it's just the texture and the flavor was bland but that's just me have you ever tried blood sausage before um if you did what kind was it was it the french one that i tried or was it the british one korean one i don't know anything or even just have you ever had animal blood before if you did let me know in the comments next week we'll come back with a new video whoever you are that's watching out there i really appreciate that thank you so much for hanging out with us today and we'll see you back here in the kitchen next time